a ratio is just the comparison of two different values or quantities. Comparison of two quantities. Uh, now we generally represent this ratio as a fraction, but there's actually a couple ways that we can show a ratio. Ratio. All right, there's three ways. We could write it as uh, in words, so you can say five to six. Using the word two shows you how you're comparing the two. You're comparing five to a six. Another way that you can write this is we replace the word two with a colon. This also reads exactly the same way, five to six. But the way that we normally write this is in terms of a fraction is uh, five sixths, or you can also read this as five to six. So a ratio uh, just shows the comparison of two different quantities. So if I said uh, express as a ratio, and I said um, express uh, six, dogs to five cats. Okay, now notice our relationship over here. I kind of changed the numbers around a little bit. We have dogs to cats. So if we write this as a ratio or as a fraction, the first one goes on the top, the second one goes on the bottom. So this would be six dogs to five cats, like that. So that would be our, our ratio or our fraction uh, of those two quantities. So again, let's see if you can express it as, what if I said uh, 20 men to uh, 30 women. So if we were gonna write this ratio, again, whatever comes first goes on the top. So this would be 20 men to 30 women. All right, now most of the time with these fractions, if they're just told you to express as a ratio, that's the ratio that they wanted, but they do generally want you to uh, reduce those fractions when you get it into fractional form. Now ratios are, are very nice. You can kind of see the comparison of two quantities. Let's go ahead and show this up here. Um, but more often than not, writing something as a unit ratio is a little bit nicer. Now, what do I mean by a unit ratio? Well, a unit ratio means there's only going to be uh, the number one on the bottom. So let's say, kind of like a real life example, let's say that your car gets 425 miles to 20 gallons. Right. Now, this is generally not how we're told, though, how uh, far a car can go in gallons, but if you wanted to write this ratio, that'd be 425 miles to 20 gallons. To make this a unit ratio, we need to make this a one on the bottom. So basically, the idea, we just need to divide both of these by two. So actually do the division, 20 into 425, let's see. 20 doesn't go into four, 20 goes into 40 twice. So 40 and subtract. 20 goes into 25 once, so that's 20, subtract, that's five. Now we gotta put our decimal here, pull it right up. Add a zero, 20 goes into 50, again, twice. Uh, that gives me 40, subtract, that's uh, 10. Add a zero, 20 goes into 100, five times. So there goes in evenly. Okay, so this is, we have 425 miles for 20 gallons, or another way to say that, this goes 21.25 or 21 and a quarter miles per gallon. Now this is generally how you're going to be told how a car gets its gas mileage, right? You say, okay, that car gets 21 miles per gallon kind of idea. 
So having a unit ratio down here at the bottom, uh, being one on the bottom, is pretty useful so you can kind of see the, the ratio. So if I told you there are 300 students uh, to, um, I don't know, 12 teachers, uh, find the unit ratio. All right, see if you can find the unit ratio here. Hit pause and uh, see how that works out. All right, if you're back, let's see, if we just set up the actual ratio, this is 300 students to 12 teachers. So to make this a unit ratio, I need to actually do this division or divide both of those by 12. So we go over here to the side, 12 into 300. Now we could reduce that first, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. 12 goes into 30 twice, that's 24, we subtract. 12 goes into 65 times, 60 and zero. All right, another way to say this is we have 25 students per teacher. Now notice, just as a small little note, the thing on the bottom went from plural, right, gallons, to singular, because there's only one of them. Over here, teachers went from plural to singular, right? So now we know that there are 25 students for every teacher in this situation. So uh, ratios here are pretty nice to show the uh, the comparison of two different quantities or the relationship between two different quantities, making something a unit ratio by actually doing the division gives you a little bit more clearer picture, kind of the way we normally look at things on a daily basis.